So today this post is going to be about the good old skill scan. Uh, my name is Andrea Jackson and I know that some senior staff in training providers put into place an inspection plan that includes improvements identified and action plans. But what if there was an alternative plan that involves working with me on sustained action and change, which gives power to everyone involved in the training to not only be involved, but to own those changes and to attract the Ofsted grade you deserve. So uh, the skills come. Um, so as part of the, the sign up pack for a prospective uh, apprentice, there should be maybe a uh, should be a skill scan. Um, and this ensures as much of anything that the compliance rules are, uh, are met um, as per Ofsted guidance, but also tells us as training providers what has been covered and what needs to be covered. Now, the skill scan could take two forms, both of which I've seen. So one would be how confident are you dealing when dealing with and one to ten? Literally, one being, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, to 10, I can sing from the rooftops about my skill. I might have changed those words a little. Or, how many times do you perform a particular skill? Never, sometimes, many, always. Um, and getting a little fed up when not thanked for doing it. Again, might have changed that slightly. So when the learner has completed this segment of the initial assessment, then it goes into a deep, dark area of the learning files at head office. So why do a skill scan? Now, I was talking to an ex-colleague um, who was very excited um, about a new skill scan that she was being that was being introduced in her training provider business. And I have to say I was a tad worried. Um, but she explained that the skill scan would not be a tick box. Uh, there would be specific questions linked to a level five qualification that would clearly show the past experience of the learner. And then the curriculum of the, the qualification is based around the prior knowledge experience and the knowledge needed. Thank goodness. Well done. And this skill scan was going to be visited regularly throughout the program to show the progress of the knowledge needed and obtained. So in my view, any tick box that is there just to show an inspector that you look at the, the prior achievements, it doesn't cut it. I've got my notes, you can see, can't you? Um, but any discussion about what the learner knows and wants to learn and then the information is then used to plan a logical curriculum program that has a positive impact on the learner and the employer works every time. Following this process enables the learner's current skills to be calculated and an individual learning plan to be agreed upon with the learner and the employer. And this ensures the qualification truly meets the learner's and the employer's needs and an Ofsted grade to be proud of is a doddle. So let me know how you conduct your skill scans. I would be very, very interested. That would be wonderful. Now, if you think, as ever, you think this post would be interesting to um, somebody, please let them know, send it on to them. Um, also, again, um, let me know if you're doing something slightly different that you'd like me to talk about. That would be great. Um, if you're interested or got a question for me, if you want to visit the website, just press the contact me um, and you can contact me, which will be marvellous. Um, but other than that, have a fantastic week. Thoroughly enjoy yourself. Have a great time. Take care. Bye bye.